side of the table. I'm gonna say a nine. I, Zenith, have been taught in the language of the Nephites, the land of our father's first inheritance. And was sent as a spy among the Lamanites to spy out their forces so our army might come upon them and destroy them. But I saw good things among them, and I desired not to destroy them. I contended with the brethren that would that our ruler make a treaty with them. But he was an austere, bloodthirsty man and commanded they kill me. But I was rescued by the shedding of much blood. Father fought against father, brother against brother, until the greater number of our army was destroyed. We returned, those of us that were spared, to the land of Zarenia to relate that tale to our wives, to wives and children. I, being overzealous to inherit the land, called as many were desirous to go and possessed the land, and started again on our journey into the wilderness. But we were smitten with famine and sore afflictions, for we were slow to remember the Lord our God. We wandered and pitched our tents where our brethren were slain, which was near the Lord land of our fathers. I went with my men, four of them, into the city, under the king, that I might know the disposition of the king, to know if I might go in with my people and possess the land in peace. The king covenanted with me that I might possess the land of Lehi Nephi and the land of Shilom. He commanded his people to depart, and we went in to possess it. We began to build buildings, repair the walls of the city. We began to till the ground. Yeah, even with all manner of seeds of corn, wheat, barley, naas, and shem, all manner of fruit began to multiply and prosper. Now it was the cunning craftiness of King Lamon to bring thy people into bondage, and after twelve years King Lamon began to grow uneasy, lest my people should wax strong and overpower them. If they were a lazy and idolatrous people, they wanted to bring us into bondage that we might glut that they might glut themselves of our labors. King Lamon began to stir up his people to contend with my people, and there began to be wars and contentions in the land. In the thirteenth year of my reign, while my people were watering and feeding flocks, a numerous host of Lamanites came upon them and slew them and took their flocks. They fled, all that were not overtaken, and came to me for protections. I armed them with bows and arrows and swords and smears and clubs and slings, and we did go to battle against the Lamanites. In the strength of the Lord did we go forth to battle against the Lamanites. We cried mightily that we would that he would deliver us. And God heard our cries and answered our prayer. And in one day and one night we slayed 3,043. We slayed them till we drove them out of the land. I myself did help bury the dead. And to my sorrow, 279 of our brethren were slain. Okay, that was Mosiah 9.